All right, fuckers, it's the most wonderful time of year. A time where friends and family alike all gather to watch known child kisser Tom Brady get jettisoned out of the playoffs with the fucking force of a thousand grizzly bears. It's playoff football time, motherfucker. Now, I love football. And, and you might be saying, oh, you can't love it that much. Well, my mental state week to week in the fall and winter is defined by the Buffalo Bills. But with everyone tuning into football over the last several weeks with the tragic events of DeMar Hamlin's incident, I figured it's a great time to capitalize on the algorithm and talk to you guys about football. Welcome back to Keith's Knowledge Corner, and today we're going to be going over the basics of football. That way you're not sitting there on your couch on a Sunday, surrounded by a bunch of your family members all dressed in the same uniform jerseys, watching grown men simulate car crashes into each other, wondering what the fuck is going on. So, anyway, back to the real football knowledge. Number one point, the NFL is rigged. Alright, the first point to remember with football in actuality is that it's just a game, which means it is totally justifiable for you to scream and get mad at the TV and punch things and throw things and try to fight rival teams' fans in the stadium or out in the parking lot or physically assault people because all of this will totally hold up in court because it's about a game of football. NFL fans are vicious. They'll see you wearing a rival team's hat or a jersey or their socks or anything and they will throw rocks at you or physically assault you in the middle of the street. Trust me, I know. I'm a Bills fan in the middle of New Jersey. So, the next thing to remember about the game is the commentary. They all fucking suck. So all you have to do is just mute the TV and fake commentate with your friends and family the whole time because your commentary is guaranteed better than Joe Fuck and Troy Aikfuck. Like, they all suck except Tony Romo for some fucking reason. Chris likes 14-year-olds Collinsworth needs to fucking retire and you need to just mute the TV and watch in silence because it's better than anything they have to say. Now let's go over everyone's favorite part of football, fantasy football. Basically, it spices up normal football because instead of just being stressed out and anxious over your specific favorite teams playing, uh, you now get to freak out over every single team that you have a fantasy player on. It's like playing the NFL's equivalent to a lottery, except nobody ever fucking wins because you drafted Jonathan Taylor first overall in your fantasy draft, and now you get to sit there not making the playoffs, watching the guy who drafted Stefan Diggs and Austin Neckler hoist your fantasy league's trophy while you dumped in so much money and got the first overall pick, and instead you just sit there in sadness, wasting the money and wasting the entire season because you decided to pick Jonathan Taylor first overall. Now all you gotta do is pick a favorite team. You could base it off of your geographic location, like where you live and stuff, unless you're in Texas because the Texans suck and fuck the Dallas Cowboys. Or you could base it off of what we like to call the bandwagon, where you bandwagon a team that's really good, like the Bengals or the Chiefs or the Bills or the Eagles or anyone but the fucking Dallas Cowboys. Do not root for the Dallas fucking Cowboys. Rooting for the Cowboys is like liking something or someone just to spite all of America. You're just being a miserable, sad sack of shit. Just, just don't root for the Cowboys, okay? The last thing you need to know about is commercials. Basically, it's like the same four or five commercials that play every commercial break in every NFL game. And whopper, oh whopper, no, no, whopper, no, 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 no. whopper. The last thing is the actual football game. The play clock says that it's going to be 60 minutes of playtime, right? But realistically, you've got like two to two and a half hours of football. You've got about... 35 minutes of commercials and then every five minutes in actual game time a fucking zebra comes out onto the field and makes everyone in america hate all zebras so anyway that's basically everything you need to know to enjoy football at its fullest so in summary fuck tom brady fuck the dallas cowboys go bills and if after this video you still don't like football go watch soccer you un-american fuck I'll see you next week.